Okay, once again, good evening everybody and thank you for joining our webinar this evening and I know uh, we're all very excited to have Garth there uh, waiting in the background to talk to us and as you know Garth's been to Ireland uh, quite a few times, quite a lot of us have met Garth, we know Garth and uh, he's an incredible, incredible motivator. I always love listening to Garth but just before I pass you over to him uh, we're just going to go through some basic reminders guys because it's now the 13th of March so anybody who is um, intending to upgrade to platinum you have till the end of um, March, the, you have till the 31st of March to upgrade to platinum and there's the explanation on the screen whatever uh, level you are right now if you're gold silver bronze whatever it's a fantastic opportunity to upgrade to platinum so I know some of you were still thinking of doing it so just to remind you that that uh, promotion ends on the 31st of March um, again if we did an incredible webinar on Saturday with Dr. Ben Beckler talking about the hand cream and for anybody who missed the webinar, the recording is available on Steam Team, guys. And it was a really, really, really fantastic webinar. So I suggest you go, and if you didn't listen to it live, go and listen to the recording. It's not available in Europe yet, um, but it sounds like an incredible product. And I'm sure it's not going to be too long before we have it available. Just a reminder again, the special starter packs are still available there for new distributors in the back office. And the hair promotion is also still available. This is a great promotion, fantastic mask. Um, if you actually add up what the cost of it is, you're actually getting the mask for free. So anyone who hasn't uh, ordered this, it's a really good um, promotion. Now, just getting to the, the, the big, big news. The countdown is three weeks from today is our big event. Um, if you haven't bought your ticket, guys, it is available in the back office. Go in and get it as fast as you can, uh, just in case the price goes up. Um, but it's just there. Go in, it's in the order area where you order your products. So I suggest if you don't have it, just go in and get it quickly. Um, because we do have three weeks. Uh, come, it's three weeks left to the event. And um, I've just put up a little agenda here. Uh, what's going to happen on uh, the in April when, when everything starts. The main event is on the 3rd of April, um, but guys, before the main event, we're going to have a distributor-only uh, meeting between half four and half six in the Talbot's to Lorgan Hotel, and I know, I know Antonella is going to launch the new back office there. I've seen it. It looks amazing. Um, so we'll have Chris and Tina there and Joe as well. So just make sure it distributors only for the first part and then um, at half past seven to 10, the, the main event starts. We'll have Chris and Tina, obviously the big attraction. We'll have Joe, we'll have Antonella and you'll have all your guests. Hopefully they'll all fit in the room. Um, but there will be standing room outside guys and I'm very optimistic about the amount of guests that you're going to invite. And then on the Tuesday, uh, from 12 o'clock onwards, in the Radisson Hotel, Joe Garcia has made himself available, which is very, very, um, it's a fantastic opportunity for you to get your prospects to come and meet Joe um, on a one-to-one -one basis. So, guys, uh, take advantage of that and let us know um, if, you are, if you want to book an appointment with Joe because he's going to be a busy boy that day. I uh, remember when Dan was here, uh, the room just... Uh, Filled, people came and they didn't leave, so the crowd got bigger and bigger. Um, so as I say, take advantage of Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Joe's going to be available for us for the whole afternoon. So now uh, to get to our special guest of the night, Mr. Garth Wright, and the author of the book, How to Find the Giants, because Garth himself is a giant. He's been with NHT Global since the beginning, and he's built massive teams around the world through all the countries and uh, I sent you out a copy of this book uh, on the email during the week when we were announcing that Garth was going to be our special guest so you've got no excuse it's definitely worth reading it will help you to focus on the kind of people 
that um, you are talking to, the prospects that you're talking to. It's a fantastic book. Garth has all of the experience that we want to have, um, but he's he's just uh, incredibly uh, knowledgeable in this business, guys, and that's why he's on as our guest here tonight. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to pass over to you, Garth. And it's a pleasure to have you on here tonight, and thank you very much for giving us all your time. Thank you very much. Am I coming through loud and clear? Yes, you are. Okay, great. Um, you know, it's always uh, like a family joy to have a conversation with um, with Ireland team, because that's the way you make me feel on the times that I've been there with you. And then when I've seen um, Irish in... Uh, Istanbul and in uh, Hong Kong and I'm sure I will see you in Prague and uh, a lot of other places for many many years to come and it's not just because of Guinness uh, yes I like Guinness not as much as a few of the leaders that you have there I think do um, but I really do like it and appreciate it I just happen to be one of those Pilsner kind of guys so when you come to Prague and you qualify to come here uh, for this great trip, finally it's happening, people can qualify to come for a trip to Prague. You're going to hang out with me and with uh, Dalibor and Thomas, and we're going to try to wreck your taste buds with what we think um, is the best beer in the world. So I'll have a little competition there. And uh, maybe we can find one of the, uh, I don't know, probably 15 Irish pubs in Prague that can serve you a good Guinness. So I know we're going to have a really fantastic time. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to talk about how to build for this event uh, with Joe and the, and, the, um, and the great product inventors who are coming with STEM Renew, the hottest product in Europe, and, uh, and maybe many other countries around the world, I'm sure of it, and Antonella. And I'm, I'm going to take a little different approach. I, I've been a little too maybe simplistic in the past with um, a lot of rah-rah uh, motivation, but I'm going to try to actually act like I have an intelligent plan this time and um, tell you seven different uh, steps that I would use to make sure that you can pack that event. The first would be what I call seven exposures. And it's an interesting statistic in the advertising business, and this is confirmed by Thomas uh, Knopek, who used to be with one of the three biggest advertising agencies in the world, that the average amount of time it takes for people to be exposed to um, something that they decide to buy before they buy it is seven times. And uh, I was meeting tonight with a new, new um, platinum uh, who's joining our business, who is from the Netherlands, and he's here in Prague. And uh, I spent uh, about three hours with him this evening. And yes, it's somebody I personally sponsored, so I still do that. And he's a wonderful guy, but the interesting thing is, is that my relationship with him started, uh, I think, six months ago. I was doing a time management workshop, just on a volunteer basis, <clears throat> for um, a Christian school organization and there was this couple sitting there, this young couple from Holland and I mean young like um, he's in his late 20s, he's in her early 30s and they just had these incredible insights on time management, on business, uh, they were very positive, <clears throat> they were smiling all the time and I thought gosh you know these are the kind of people that I would love to have in my business just having them around is a positive experience but I didn't want to kind of cross the line this was just supposed to be a time management workshop it's like you when you if you have a job where you go to an office work for a company you don't really want to cross the line and be recruiting uh, at your company um, but you don't know whether or not that opportunity is going to happen after hours or on the weekend and even if you do if it's somebody in your firm you're wondering, okay, is this going to get back to the boss? Are they going to think negatively about this? So I didn't do anything about it. I didn't contact this couple. Um, and they, he contacted me. 
um, Stefan contacted me and said, uh, would you meet with my wife and I for dinner? So we met in a restaurant. So this was now I had five months ago, and we had a very nice dinner. And at the dinner, I just kind of mentioned at the end, uh, oh, by the way, this is the business that I'm doing. I didn't have any products with me. I didn't show a PowerPoint. I just spoke about it a little bit. They had no exposure uh, to network marketing and didn't know what I was really talking about. But it turns out he was very intrigued and definitely they're the kind of couple that are after an opportunity to be financially free. So um, race ahead another month and they ended up here in our home and having dinner here. And they are a um, totally vegan couple. So my wife had to research uh, what a plant-based diet is completely because uh, we like that diet, but we also um, also have meat at times and have dairy and things that uh, these people wouldn't do. And my wife researched it and she came up with something fantastic and I think he had thirds. And so we're having a great time. The evening ended, still didn't speak about the business. So then I made an appointment with him, said, you know, let's get together and I'll really talk to you about this. So I meet with him two months ago and uh, and um, share the business with him and you know show send him a PowerPoint and talk about it and it finally kind of clicks and then um, finally tonight we met and that's when he was ready to sign up and pull out his credit card and make it happen and so th the main point that I'm getting to is it can take a lot of exposures to somebody who can be great, because I promise you, this guy, his name is Stefan, you're going to hear about him in the future. This guy is the kind of guy who, um, step by step, he's going to read every book that he needs to read. He's going to listen to every audio. He's going to watch every video. He's going to go to every event. He's already scheduled um, eight weekends between now and the end of the year when he's willing to hop on a plane with me and uh, make trips to the Netherlands and then eventually other countries where his business will expand, he's already blocked them out and he's ready to go. And so we're going to hit that country in a big way. So if, the, if there are those of you on the call who are thinking, gosh, you know, I'm going to be first in the Netherlands or I have somebody there already, they just haven't gotten going, well, you're going to have a little competition from me. But that's fine, you know. Um, won't it be great if I'm going there regularly and you have some hot person in the Netherlands and you can just say, well, Garth's in my upline and he happens to be there this weekend. And then three weekends later, he'll be there again and he'll be there again and he will be happy to work with you and training, train you, which is absolutely true. But my point is about seven exposures and that rule in advertising is if you want to, to um, build up for this event, one of the things I think that you really need to do is think about prospects that you have tried and you have consistently kind of, we say, dripped on or um, placed little hints or had them try the product or whatever, and people you've been consistent with and they like the products and they, they like the sound of it and so on, but they haven't made that step. Well really this would be your opportunity to pull out your list uh, to think of everybody that you've exposed the business to and say this could be the time I could call them now and before they said they weren't interested but something changed inside just like it did for this guy Stefan it went from from time management to a dinner to another dinner to a meeting to finally joining over a process of six months if you've got some people that you've already taken some steps with, um, this would be the ideal time to try to finish it off and put them in front of an incredible event like this. If you could hold on just a second. Anna, could you turn that off, please? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Um, all right, the second point, you can see it on the screen. So the first point, just please. Uh, please go back to the people you've already contacted. Please let them know what's happening. And please consider the possibility that people you think are 
totally out of touch. There's no way you're going to reach them. There's no way they're going to join that this could be the event that they've been waiting for because you know how great it's going to be. And so my second point is find out what impresses your prospects. What I mean by that is find out whether they're a person who would be impressed by an incredible testimony from a corporate leader, Antonella, with her wonderful Italian accent, talking about the company and its amazing history, its incredible rise, and its growth that's off the charts, and its number one fastest growing, and on and on and on. Because there are people who, they're not going to be impressed by the products because they're going to say, <clears throat> lots of other companies have these products. Well, we know that we've got some products lots of other companies don't have, but people would just write it off in their mind. Yeah, I've already seen it. You know. You're, you know what I'm talking about. There are the people who will say, no, I don't want to hear some big leader who's going to talk about this big money and uh, the car he drives and, and what his lifestyle is like and on and on and on, you know, because I'm a serious person. But when you tell them that the director for Europe from the company, from the fastest growing company in the world, publicly traded, is going to be there and will be happy to talk with them and explain things and prove it and so on, the company person could come for that very reason. For them, it means it's real. Then there are the people and I know you've got all the statistics in the world to be excited about our company and what it's done. you got all the records and everything else. You can tell that. If you're excited about it, please be. Then there are the people, it's about products. You know, They have seen the hype. They've seen these pyramid deals. They're not interested in that. They wouldn't do anything unless they could help people, help their health, and so on. And yes, yeah, so what? The company's growing like crazy. Well, of course they are because it's one of those pyramid deals and it's, it's network marketing, it's multi-level, it's whatever. But boy, show me some great products that could change people's lives. And here you go because we got the products, we have the testimonies, you can have distributors that can meet and chat with them or, or speak to them on the phone. It doesn't have to be the upline. It can be somebody right there. And you've got in Ireland and uh, anyone else listening on this call who's in our business, you've got some incredible people in this organization in terms of testimonies of what these products can do as well as your own. So these people who want to save mankind physically, their focus is the products. Well, you're not going to find out which of these things, company or products or big leader it is, that is really their hot button unless you're willing to ask questions and listen. But keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your mind, okay? And when you see them getting excited about one of these things, that's what you need to really hit. So now you can tell them STEM Renew. Incredible stories, wow, and you're going to stand right in front of the inventors of the product and they're going to answer any questions you have and show you how amazing this is. And some people, you can sell them on the idea of like a crusade to bring health to a massive number of people. And in the back door comes the money because you helped so many people. For some people, that's the main appeal. Finally, of course, there's the network marketing professionals. And yes, they say, of course, the company's got to be there. It's got to be great. Got to be able to depend on it for the rest of my life and for my family and on and on. Of course, the products have to be great and you have to have some products that are not me too products, but they're unique. They're individual. They're fantastic. Of course. But please, explain to me from somebody who has credibility why your marketing plan, why your money-making opportunity is awesome. Because if you can't do that, 
I can go to many other companies who would love to have a guy like me. I know it sounds big ego, but you know it is big ego. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, if I mean, I think unless I was in politics, I have not seen some egos the size of some of the people that I've seen in the business. Just a minute. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just spent you know three hours with a prospect. <coughs> not a prospect, but a guy who finally joined. Who for me is like now becoming a close friend, Stefan. And I normally don't talk much because if you have three little boys like I do, you don't have to say much. You just kind of say, "Uh huh, really? Oh, that's cool." Every once in a while. And they will do all the rest. So I'm not used to talking this much. Anyway, network marketing professionals, <clears throat> they want to know that a Joe Garcia is coming. They want to know that a guy who literally has everyone in the company under him is coming and they get to meet him face to face. They want to know a guy who's been in the business for 20 years. who's got the stories, and who is the real deal. And this applies not just to big network marketing professionals, it applies to the people who think that they're network marketing professionals. I say think they are, because to me, the definition of a professional is someone who actually makes enough money from the business to pay all their bills. That's a professional. I played in, in some professional tennis tournaments when I was a young man, when I was, I don't know, early 20s, late, <clears throat> like 21, 22, 23, yeah. And I won like one, and it was in doubles, and I could not pay my bills or feed myself. I spent more money traveling around playing in tournaments and paying entry fees and paying for hotels and paying for petrol and everything else than I ever even remotely made. I mean, I was I thought I was I was big stuff when a, a racket company gave me some rackets. I mean, and if people asked me, I would say I'm a professional tennis player. Well, the reality was I was a broke, starving, virtually unemployed out in the first or second round tennis player. And, and most of the people you meet in network marketing, they're a part of the masses, not a part of the few who got to the top. But when you talk to them, even if they haven't made any money, if they've been in love with this business for 5 or 10 or 20 years, they consider themselves pros, and they consider that they've got to be in front of a guy like Joe Garcia to really take it seriously. Well. If you can't sell people on Joe Garcia, you cannot sell this business because he is one incredible guy. Please talk to people, ask questions, and find out which of these three factors. For some, it may be two of the three. Rarely will it be all, um, but find out what it is that's their hot button and and point them in that direction and sell it in a fantastic way and that leads to the next point. Well that's interesting I, I went point one, point two and point four. <clears throat> okay well I don't have a degree in math that's not my specialty. Anyway um, the next point is invite in 3D. Now what I mean by that is you got fantastic beautiful flyers that Sonia has made and she's also working on one that's going to focus on and highlight Joe and that you know here this massive guy is coming these color flyers with beautiful pictures use them <clears throat> but just use them like a great business card to say I'm a pro and then it's up to you you need to sell the experience of being at that event that it's life-changing, future-altering, truly incredible, 
with amazing people. You know, you're listening and you're thinking, I'm not a hype type of person. I don't jump up and down. I'm not going to be all excited like Garth's talking about. Let me tell you, if you're not that kind of person, and then for this event, you are, everybody who knows you is going to pay attention. They're going to say, I don't know what happened to Daniel. He's gone crazy. He's so excited. He keeps insisting he won't let me go. I, I just have to go and find out what turned him on like this because I have never seen him this way before. You know, Sandra has uh, just been a monotone person all, all of her life that I've known her. And now she's bouncing off the walls. She looks healthier than ever. She's glowing and she's so excited. I'm telling you, people will travel miles and miles and miles to watch somebody who's on fire. Well, be the person who invites them to this thing and you're on fire and that they've got to be there and do it with passion. You know how little real passion there is these days? Mostly you can only get it by watching a TV show or a movie. And we love that when we watch TV shows or movies. Well, why can't we be that way? Why do we have to watch other people doing it? And what's really crazy is we're sitting watching other people making a fortune being actors, having passion about their craft, and we don't even have it for our own. Isn't something missing there? So when you invite people, I say invite them in 3D. Just be multidimensional. Just put it in color. Just be excited. Think about this, all right? Right now maybe you're thinking, okay, that's one of his points I'm not going to do. I'm just not that kind of person. Well, let me ask you. Would you be excited, kind of crazy, kind of out of your mind, kind of colorful, kind of awesome, kind of wow, if you knew that if you did it for the next three weeks or however long it is until your event comes, that it could set you up for life? Could you do it for three weeks if you were financially free from that for life? I certainly hope so. All right. Next point, use your upline. Listen, that's what we're here for. And if you've got awesome prospects and you think that a call from us, uh, an email, a Skype video call, whatever, would push them over the edge and have them come to the room and maybe even come with a small team of their best people, well, we will do that. We will do it, really, because our success is totally dependent on your success. That's it. And so that's what we're here for. So please, use me, use Sonia, use Dan, use Joe, Use Dollybor, use Thomas, use us, and let us use. I mean, if you if you're not excited and can't just can't muster that kind of zeal, tell us, hey, hey, Garth, I'd like you to talk to this person, but you need to be on fire. I need that from you, Garth. Would you do that for me? I will do that for you. We don't know when the next time is. We'll have. Uh, Joe Garcia or the, or the STEM Renew people or Antonella going on a tour like this uh, and coming to Ireland, but we sure don't want to miss the opportunity since we know they are coming and you can do this. So we'll be happy to help. The next point is 2,000 reasons to invite, and this is absolutely my core training on how to fill an event. 2,000 reasons is 2,000 euros that it cost for a platinum package, approximately. Um, what I mean by that is when you sign up a person as a platinum, tomorrow, um, this week, the next week, that person will have a whole lot of motivation to bring all the people they know to that event. 
the people they know mostly are people you don't know. You get somebody new signed up in this business this week, and I promise you they will do everything they can with 2,000 reasons why they're going to fill that event. They want to cycle as fast as they can. They want to have their best people there to put on two legs and to race up the IRP and to make the money. Chances are they'll be more passionate and excited than you will. Those of you who've been in the business for three months, six months, one year, two years, whatever. They've got that new zeal and fire. But imagine if it wasn't one. What if it was one this week and they bring ten and it was another next week and they do the same and it was another the next week. The event comes. You're sitting in the room. You've got, say, three new platinums and you've got 30 prospects. Do you think your life would change financially? Do you think your future financial freedom would be different? Do you think your excitement would be different? Do you think uh, your cycling would grow? Do you think um, your zeal about getting this thing done in 2017? I don't want you to quit, but wouldn't you love to have it done in terms of financial freedom for the rest of your life by the end of this year. Would that be an incredible Christmas present to give yourself? Well, this is the chance to do it. You just need to find and bring in, in your zeal, people who have 2,000 reasons to fill that room. And that will really work. I'll just say this, and you've heard me say it before if you've heard my webinars before events before. The worst thing you can do is between now and the event, the only thing you do in the, in the business is invite people to the event. The best thing you can do is to do more presentations to give yourself more of a chance to sign up more people between now and the event. That is the absolute key strategy to filling the room. Multiply yourself through others with people who are more excited than you are. And then stack two legs. You're going to find, if you take that strategy, you're going to end up looking at your two legs and saying, that's the superstar on that leg. Just look at the way they're growing and they're persistent, they're doing the basics, they're non-stop, and that's the one on the other leg. And even if I only had those two, I'm going to be set for life because they're filing in, pouring in more of the same. And that's the way the business works. And it ain't five legs. It ain't 25 legs. It's two. It's two. So you've got to do it. And then the last point I've already hit on a little bit is collapse the time frame to financial freedom. It is absolutely the best opportunity in our business to take what Dan says is the three to five year plan to riches and instead, in your case, make it the three week plan to riches and then jump on that growth that comes from this event and the people you have in and the people who join and the excitement they have and just keep it going. Use the products. Do like I do, crazy fitness, you know. Uh, get plenty of sleep and hit the ground running for three weeks and then be pouring it on to the next event down the road and believe me with the growth the next road tour and the next event will come and just go from event to event all the way to the annual convention in August it usually is in August uh, in Asia and then keep it rocking and be in Prague 
and be at the next thing and make your Christmas dream of financial freedom come true. Please stop putting it off until the next year or the following year or I will get excited after I do this or after I clear that or after I understand this. Please, no more excuses for not having everything you dream of. You just, don't you want to wake up? You know when I wake up in the morning, I don't wake up in stress. I don't have financial fear. I wake up saying I can look in my mind at the faces of people in many different countries who, because they're guaranteeing their financial freedom, they have guaranteed mine. And you can wake up and feel the same. Europe is wide open. And this is the event that can just bust it loose like crazy, like we've never seen before. And isn't it about time? So those are my points. Those are my six points with seven numbers. <laughs> anyway, and that is the strategy that I would say that you need to use, and I hope that it will really, really work for you. So I want to open it up now um, to um, people who would like to uh, join in and share anything that they want to say about this. And, of course, Sonia, now I'd like you to, to participate, and I'm here. And, of course, I can answer questions, and thank you so much for listening to me. Well, Garth, thank you so much for giving us your time this evening. And it's just been a pleasure, as always, to listen to you and to hear you and your advice. And, you know, if we just all did what you told us to do, um, we, some of us should be really rich by now. Uh, because <laughs> I think, you know, um, this webinar is being recorded and it's probably a good idea to go back and just listen to you um, go through those six points, although we say there's seven. I don't know. I never spotted that either when I was um, just copying and pasting. Maybe the sixth one got lost somewhere or we just didn't number them properly. But um, as I say, this webinar has been recorded and it is uh, definitely worthwhile for um, everybody to go back and listen again. Now, if I unmute everybody all at the same time, uh, we're going to get a lot of noise in the background. So, people, you've got a little hand there, and if anybody wants to ask some questions, um, just click on the hand and I will unmute you. Uh, I'm just flicking down. There's a good few people on this webinar. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to unmute Philip. Philip's got his hand up. There you go, Philip. You've got the floor. Oh, thank you very much, Sonia. How are you? And keep my hope. And Gareth, great to hear you again. Hey, handsome. I can I can see your smile, even though I only hear your voice. <laughs> You're such a charmer. You're such a charmer. Um, we just can't wait to get over to uh, to Prague, and hopefully we'll have um, a, a quite a, a bus full of people with us. We've got okay. around another two months uh, left to get uh, get our business up and running. And it's a very simple business. Just go on, use the three-foot rule, talk to as many people as possible, put everything that, that Garda said tonight in, into action, and we will have one hell of a party in, in, in Pride. And we'll show Garrett and Dalibor and Thomas the pint of black is the best beer in the world. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that will even match Garth's shirt there now. You know, all I'm missing now is the is the is the white tie, and I would say Garth was a real a real a good man for a pint of Guinness. So uh, yeah, basically, it's a fantastic um, uh, fantastic uh, pointers there. Uh, you know, it's uh, against it's in Garth's book. Hopefully, everybody in our business has that book. If you don't have that book, you're not really in the business. And uh, there are a lot of other good um, uh, web, uh, you know, li uh, YouTube links. You go into Eric Warrior, which is my my one of my favorites. I just I, I get a video from him every day of the week. He's got phenomenal, phenomenal information coming out every day. If we put that into action, guys, we can change our uh, our our life. So basically, um, 
I love the 2,000 reasons. I took notes there. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. If somebody spends 2,000 euros on a, on a platinum package, they're going to get out. And if they know they want to get, I, I hate when people say this, they want to get the money back. I think that's, the, that's a terrible way of promoting any business. But a lot of people do say that. And maybe if some people are complaining about paying that type of money, it becomes platinum. And if, you, if they really understand what platinum does for people, and uh, that's the way you grow the business. That's what all the leaders do, work on, work on platforms. So basically, guys, uh, go back, get your lists out, start rooting through everybody you know. Don't haunt them. Just send them a, a quick flyer. Drop in for a cup of coffee. And the other thing we're missing badly in this business really is the three-way calls. We need to be doing three-way calls more. We can get a lot more people in contact with each other if we use three-way calls. And I'm sure guards will come in. And the other thing is that um, sign has printed out a lot of uh, flyers, invitations, and I'm sure if we look at what we, the list we have, look at the people on our phones, look at the, the people we know, uh, look at the golden pages, see the professions, you know the people need profession, I'm sure Sonia could bend her arm, would print another few thousand invitations, because this is a chance for a lifetime to get the two uh, people that have designed the number one selling product in the world and have joined up with the number one company in the world called NHD Global. Remember, STEM Renew uh, only came in after NHD hit the high ranks. So STEM Renew did not make uh, NHD the number one company in the world. Uh, we had a foundation in there, in there before that. STEM Renew is an add-on, so don't focus on STEM Renew. Look at the, at the full listings we have. Sell through the list and get people using the product, and when you use the product, you're going to be very, very happy with the results, and you're going to be a lot of financial, financial freedom as well by the end of the year. That's it, really, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, um, we've got another hand raised here, so I'll just unmute Josephine. Okay, hello, good hey, evening. Hey, oh, beautiful. Hi. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Philip and everybody else. Uh, I found your webinar this evening really motivational and what um, impressed me most was uh, how you talked about the excitement and the enthusiasm in our voices when we start to invite people because if I can remember back when, when I started, um, I know I I was far more motivated than I am today, even though I'm still very clued in, but at the same time I think we sometimes take it for granted and we lack um, some of the enthusiasm that we had in the earlier days about the product, about the opportunity, about how to make money and so forth. So I think that was the one point that I took from you guys this evening and especially when I talk to some of the people that I've introduced to the business and they turn around to me and they say, oh Joe, I'm not the excitable type. I'm low key and this, that, and the other. But I think the way you've explained uh, that if they were to get excited, how different would that be to their business and to their products and to their futures in in, in network marketing? So I must say I found um, I found a few points, even though you've made some of them before. But it's great to hear them again and hear them reinforced. So uh, I enjoyed this evening webinar a great deal. So hopefully, I'll have loads of people in that room, and that's the plan for three weeks' time. Thank you. You'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Well, I think Josephine is one of our best inviters, and she usually has quite a lot of people in the room. So we'll throw in an extra few seats for you, Joe, there for your guests. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <And> <laughs> Just to, just to say, guys, as well, you know, when we joined NHT, we were all so excited. And we got really excited with one product. We got excited with the facelift. So if you do need motivation to get excited again, apart from everything Garth has said tonight, have a house party and do a demo with the facelift. Mm. Because just because we're familiar with it now and we're, you know, three years using the product, um, there's, there's, thousands of people out there who've never heard of it and when you do a demo and I must say uh, some of us are probably um, you know we've kind of left that 
we haven't done a lot of demos lately, but I've I've done a few in the past few weeks, and I've been helping people and um, get started and do demos. And it's when you see the excitement in the room, you realise, oh my God, <laughs> this mm. is the product that we started with. This is the Wow product, right? And mm. it's probably worth mentioning. I think it's this Wednesday. Uh, Joe is doing a uh, facelift day on Facebook. And I, you've seen some of the before and after pictures that have been uh, posted on Facebook. And when you see them, you just get excited yourself. In fact, you know, I I was so one there, I think it was Kareen in Sweden. She put one on the other day. And, you know, I just said, oh, that's it. I'm, I'm going up to do my facelift right now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the effect it had on me when you see the results. But that one product, guys, don't forget about it. Don't forget about the demos because it is a great way um, to get people excited. And maybe it's worth everybody having, you know, a presentation in their house between now, maybe a few of them, um, and get people excited about the products because you just, when you, when you have the house demo, and you see and you can feel the excitement, it, it's contagious and you get excited again and you'll remember why you got excited in the first place. Mm, super points, yeah. I have to say that my whole business, uh, which did that incredible volume, which I've shared with you before in, in just a matter of uh, less than two months, um, when I started, we only had in Europe, facelift and Allura. Uh, it wasn't approved anywhere. Uh, didn't have uh, labels in the right languages, etc., etc., etc. But wow, nothing caused my business to take off more than the excitement people had when they looked in the mirror and they come running back into the meeting room saying, "Look at this! This is amazing! Look at my face!" And uh, and then when they would snatch up those bottles of Allura. Uh, because they just had to go try that. What an exciting product that was for them. And now we think of those as, oh, those old products, you know. Oh, well, let me tell you, those old products, those old products can set you up for life. Absolutely. And, and in fact, when you think about the new countries uh, that are joining, they, they're getting excited about the Allura and the facelift because mm. they're, the, they're the only products that these new countries start off with. I mean, the, the other products follow, but they're building huge teams with the facelift and the Allura. So, guys, do not forget about those products, and the Allura is also an incredible, incredible product. Um, we've got one other hand raised here, and it's Derek, your friend Derek Garth, so I'll just unmute Derek there for a second. Derek, are you there? Hi, Sonia. Hi, Garth. Derek, the music man. <laughs> I, and I still have. I'm waiting for Prague to bring you these CDs. We're gonna have, a, I think, an hour playing them all. The Irish ones. You'll you'll like them. Over a pint of Guinness that Philip keeps talking about as well. <laughs> well, I think it would only be fair if you're gonna come here. That uh, I go back to Dublin sometime. What do you think? Oh, fantastic! Oh, that would be wonderful. Really nice. Really, really yeah. nice. Brilliant. Yeah. That would be no, it's, I, it's lovely, lovely want, hearing your voice again tonight on the uh, Drop Back Nice Happy Happy Memories. Um, and I want to meet I want to meet your better half when I'm there. Oh, I yeah, want to see if she really, yeah, you see can, if she you really can, exists. You can back to Prague with you as well if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Cut that out of the recording, Sonia. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be that's going to be bleeped out. Garth, I wanted you and I had a chat once. It was possibly on the way to the storehouse on the way back. You did say and it was a very a good point, but to be taken or to be tempered, I think, with um, some degree of caution, not to go or not to approach or not to get too involved with people who did not have money. Uh, now, unfortunately, I've got involved a bit last year with people who then lost jobs or were made redundant. Now that we are encouraging and trying to promote the Platinum package, as you said, which is a good step up from the gold. I've I've gone platinum now. I've ordered this stuff. I'm delighted. I've made personally the move. But for getting people in now and getting platinum at the end of our tongue rather than just gold, we have to, and tell me if I'm wrong, have we to be looking up the scale financially at people who would have a bit more money? Because to say 2,000 now or 1,800, whatever it is, we're going to get a lot of people saying, Jesus, that's a lot of money. You know, what am I getting for that? Uh, I just 
interested to know your comments on on the on on the financial side when you're trying to eventually hit the money. Well, I think that if you um, start out with going after prospects who are actually uh, consistently employed, right, and yeah, th that helps a lot because that already puts them in the ballpark to find a way to get the money to come in as platinum. And then the second thing would be kind of take a reverse approach. Right. Uh, bring to their mind how much it would cost to open a shop. How much it would cost to open a restaurant. Yep, that's interesting. Yep. How yep. much it would cost to open a, just a small business. And when you run the numbers and you look at the license, the location, stocking, the place, uh, and if you have employees and on and on, the numbers are just crazy, and that's for a small business. It's a very good and, point, and that's and that's for a business that um, somebody will mortgage their house and borrow left and right from every relative to come up with a hundred thousand euros to start that business, and hope and feel great if after three years they're they're turning a profit. Um, you know, and that's the reality of small business, and that's the way that it is. You know that that's true. And here we're saying, listen, uh, dial it way, 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 way down in terms of investment, 2,000 euros. Dial it way, 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 way up in terms of return that you could have in those same three years if you hit it hard in our business. You stand, you walk into the shop where the guy spent 100,000 euros to open that thing three years later, and you ask him, how much are you going to clear after all your expenses, after paying back that on that debt, how much are you going to clear this month? And you compare that to somebody who hits it hard with a company with our growth record who's launching in country after country in Europe uh, and is ready to explode, you compare that with the person who hits it hard right now leading up to this event and three years from today there is absolutely no comparison and one put in a hundred thousand and one put in two thousand. Who's the intelligent person? Yeah. <laughs> when it's thought, when it's um, considered like that, Garth, absolutely, it's a no-brainer. You know, that's very good. I've taken a note of that. Lovely. Okay. I like that. I like that approach. No, that's that's neat. All right. Great hearing your voice. Used, I have not used that. I, I've sometimes got myself fixated on the two thousand. But yes, if you do that comparison with a small business, it doesn't have to be a big business. Just stocking a shop, paying the rent, paying one assistant, uh, and the risk, as you said, the rents, the rates. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is your home business, two thousand, a one off, two thousand, your platinum, and making the big go of it, as you say, going for it, not just sitting back on your laurels, but making it work. Yep, that's that's good. That's good. All right, thanks. Thanks, Garth. You're welcome.